Thanks for coming out. Uh, you just came from the Bay Area, right? We, we appreciate you coming out here and whatnot. No problem. Uh, let everybody know exactly where you're from. Let's we'll start there. I'm from London, England. Destiny's Child, first ever inspiration. Is that what that was? Yes. Like I used to. So okay. So I was a musical one out. All my friends, they did not do music. I just forced them to because I love Destiny's Child and I always wanted to perform in school. The school, like every time the school had like a talent show, I'll be the first. Like yeah, I'm 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 joining. I'll get my girls together. Like, okay, okay. You're gonna be Michelle. You're gonna be Beyonce. <laughs> but when it got down to it. I took all their parts on the stage. They didn't know nothing. Like we did rehearsals. They was like going left, right. So you just <laughs> they ran it. Their parts. I was like everyone at the end. I had to be everybody. <laughs> uh, at nine, you read or you wrote your first rap. Is that correct? Or your first song? Is that? Yeah. What? No. I, at nine, I went to the studio for the first time. Yeah. How does that happen for a nine-year-old? Um, well, basically, my dad knew this guy, and he said he said he wanted a he said he wanted me on the hook because my dad used to always tell him, "Oh, Steph always writes." And um, he said, cool, yeah, I wanted to rap. So I ripped that, this little rap for the hook and I want her on it. And he kind of had that vibe of, you know, Jay-Z, Hard Not Life. And you had the kid on the hook. So I was like that kid on the hook. Where the song is today, I don't know, but I do remember the bars. Um, so your music is very personal. There's, there's uh, 16 Shots is obviously something that, that is regarding your mother. Uh, you've got some music that's more emotional, more soft. And, but a lot of your stuff is aggressive. It's very aggressive. Which do you prefer? Um, it depends. It depends on the mood. Like I like to get in a studio. I got this one producer I work a lot with. His name's Rhyme. So he did um, "Hurting Me," "Ding Ding," a couple other tunes, um, and whatever. He might just be making something in the studio. I come in. I'm like, that sounds sick. Let me jump on that quickly. So it all depends. If he, it depends what beat he he kind of steers it sometimes. Right. But sometimes I might have ideas and I'm like, listen, I want to make something like this today. Like, do you know what I mean? Right. But I don't. I don't know. I I like I like both. Uh, hurting me, the new single with French Montana. Hey hey hey. Who the hell hurt you? It wasn't who, about who, who, me. No. Oh, it wasn't. No plot twist. Hold up. Ah, okay. Let him know. Let him know. Let him know. <laughs> So basically, I was in this situation, right? So I had a boyfriend at the time, and his ex-girlfriend used to always call his phone. Like, just, I'm in the back, like, being quiet, you know what I mean? Good girlfriend or whatever. Anyway, so I was with him for a minute, and she was just always, like, trying to call him for stuff. But it was her baby father, so, do you know what I mean? So, like, it was just always, like, you know when someone makes an excuse to call you, like, why didn't you do this? Or, like, Shut up. So she was kind of bitter that he had moved on with me. Do you know what I mean? You're the one on the other end of that song. Yeah, so <laughs> so I went to the studio one day, and like you said, I'm always aggressive. So I thought, maybe I should, like, try and put myself in her position. You know what I mean? Like, vulnerable. And, um, like, no man has ever left me, so I don't know what it feels like. So I thought, okay, cool. Let me see how she feels, because I could tell that she was very hurt that he had left. And it's very, well, anyway, in England, it's very rare when guys leave their, their woman. Like, I don't know. That's probably everywhere. It's normally the women always leaving the men. So when a... Guy leaves you and you're not ready to leave. That's a bit hard. You know what I mean? It's harsh. Yeah, it's a bit harsh. I do f no, I do feel bad for her. Right. It's not nice. It shouldn't. It's not a nice feeling. I'm sure. You're so trying I not to smile song. right now, but okay. No, no, no. I do. No, honestly, honestly, I'm a woman as well. So I, I you know, what I mean, I have to like, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah. So I put myself in her position. So I heard you got a new girl. So I was a new girlfriend. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. So that's I did did anybody else know that? I, I always assumed it was her singing about mm. her personal experience. No, because sometimes I'm not going to go through everything in life. Do you know what I mean? That everyone could relate to. So sometimes I have to take from someone else's story. Mm -hmm. And that was her story that I took from. Uh, I think a true artist can do that. That you can paint pictures for other people you yeah. know, through your art. So that's a beautiful thing. Do you remember what the first thing was? Like the big event that happened or the uh, moment that you knew your life was changing and this dream was starting to move into this motion? Yeah, so there's, there's this festival called Wireless, and they do it every year, and they have, like, mad headliners, like The weekend headlined it. So um, last year I wasn't on the main stage, but I was on another stage that was, like, big for an um, up-and-coming artist or whatever, and that was, like, near my ends, near where I used to live. So you have a lot of hood people there. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of hood, you know, they turn up like hood people because I'll be doing, um, I'll be doing gigs in places that's not that hood. The, the crowd is lit, but they ain't lit like hood people. Do you know what I mean? Like the hood people are crazy. So I was there and like all the girls, they're looking at me like, oh my gosh, Steph, you fucking.
Made it. I live around the corner from that gig, and two years before that, I was climbing over the gate trying to get in. <laughs> two years before that performance, I was Still, climbing in trying to like, let me in. <laughs> that's a fast track, though. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, you're on stage doing it. Yeah, exactly. I had my own stage the previous year before that. Someone brought me out, but yeah, that year, um, I have a song called Real Ting as well, and I always bring girls on stage. So I had like sixty girls on my stage. It was like crazy. You call them the Dons? Is that what it is? My Dons. Yeah, it was lit. It was so crazy. So that was proper time to remember and. They proper enjoy this. The litest city that you've performed in? The lit London. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of London artists don't say that. They don't, they say, nah, when I go overseas, it's lit. No, when London, it's crazy. I went to this one rave because my brother, he's a rapper as well, and he must have put on a, a rave. It's a, it's a party. So yeah. he must have put on a rave, yeah. He had me in the hood is place. I don't know who he thought his sister was, but I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, bro, I'm trying to like make it. Like, I'm kind of making it now. I'm not supposed to be in these places. There was like 50 fights, bottles <laughs> flying, and I still performed though. But it was so lit. It, it was, was lit. that was the litest place. I swear, it was so mad. Like, if you don't know how popping you are, go back to the hood. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. you know. Yeah, no, but it was so lit, though. Even though I nearly lost my life five times, it was crazy. <laughs> the love was there and it was popping. Mixtape. The Real Ting mixtape. I dropped a mixtape last year. It's called Real Ting. So I feel like if you're trying to figure out what my sound is like or what I do, it's, nice all, on, sample there. it's all on there, yeah. Um, social media? Steph London. That's S-T-E-F-F-L-O-N-D-O-N-A. All right, let's do this, folks. Let's get our photographs and uh, autographs and whatever you need. Thank you again. We appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Montep, Steph London.